Hi, this is Scott W1AL with another video. And uh, this time I want to talk about the Yezu FT1000D that I acquired several months ago. And I uh, just want to give you my thoughts on the rig. Uh, it is um, uh, a rig that came out. Uh, it was Yezu's flag flagship top transceiver right around 1999. Uh, I believe the year was 2000 ish. And uh, I have to tell you that um, I'm, I'm quite, uh, quite impressed with this radio. I'm going to, it's going to be a little twist at the end of this video to give you an idea of what I've kind of comparing it to, uh, relatively speaking. Uh, this radio has two receivers accessible from uh, here. The dual button puts it on dual receive mode. That goes off, dual receive, and that's on. And um, it has a very nice feature called diversity uh, receive. Assuming that you have the, um, the board in place. Uh, I believe that's, that's required for that on this rig. Anyway, um, it, it's it really um, ahead of its time because you can put one receiver audio on one side of the stereo headset and the other receiver on the other side, and you can you can do a cross band or cross mode or whatever. And uh, the second receiver, of course, is assessed here. Uh, this. Um, for a radio that was built, uh, excuse me, it's actually, I believe, 1989, now that I think of it, not 99. Um, so we're talking a radio that's over 30 years old. Uh, this is um, quite a radio. Now, there's a couple of things uh, that um, I want to say about it. Uh, and the number one thing that jumps out at you when you get this radio is the build quality. It is a very heavy radio, I believe it comes in at around 60 pounds. It's um, built like a tank, literally. Uh, these knobs are high quality, they're smooth, they're not like the cheap plastic you see today. Uh, the buttons are in good ergonomic places. You've got, um, let me just pan a little bit here. You've got the, the meter for power output, SWR and so forth on a switch. You get AGC here. And then the, uh, really is the, uh, the front end as far as the sensitivity, normal or, or you can, uh, you can change that here. RX mix is um, the the amount of mix from the left side or the right side on each receiver. You can you can tune that here. Mic and RF power processor and drive squelch and noise blanker. AF and RF gain. And uh, of course your modes here. And. Um, the band switch and the band width is all in one little square. You can also press this fast button and hold it and spin the VFO and it will go faster. Well, it's kind of hard to hold the camera and do that, but um, of course the sub VFO tuner, it's a great antenna tuner. It's really well built, the antenna tuner. It's not a toy. It's, it's fast too, very fast. Um, you just put on tuner here and then hit start. It's already tuned for this band. Memory scan, clarifier, clarifier a knob, memory knob. I'll show you what memories that you might have in a plastic where they don't have any. The keyer, built in, break in, you have to have that on to, to operate CW. I use a lot of CW. The speed control, 
Now this speed control is is rather small. That's the only thing I don't like about this radio. Is that when you're on CW and you gotta adjust the speed control, and it's a minor complaint, it's not a huge deal. But I just would like that knob a little more, a little larger. I have big hands. Um, and then the VFO, the notch, and the APF. Now the APF is, of course, a feature that has come out that allows you to hone in on a CW signal. I don't know if I can do that here. Um, the band knob does not appear to be too active. Over here it's in. There it is. Uh, what happened? Well, okay, let's turn that off. Oh, it must be my squelch. Something is not right here, so let's... There it is. Um, and really, um, it must be the squelch. I'm thinking, yeah, that's what was doing. The squelch button was turned too high. Let me demonstrate that APF if I can. It, it, it is incredible on CW in that it pulls out these signals. That might not have been the best example. I use CW a lot. Um, and uh, at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a little twist. stop transmitting um, but uh, the CW on this on the receiving and it, it can hone in on anything it is it is just an incredible thing uh, of course we know that modern radios uh, do that too but it's just amazing this is so ahead of its time that this one uh, seems to do it ex extraordinarily well uh, it's just Fantastic. Uh, this, of course, has the key in the phone, the key is the phone jack in the front. Uh, VFO swap. Um, if you want to swap off. Um, and there's another thing about this, this rig is that the, um, the audio stage is fantastic. Uh, the audio quality on this radio, I have it connected up to... Um, to an amplifier, uh, an exterior little cheap Fosse tube amplifier with some clip speakers. I just think that it's better than having the, uh, the Yezo speaker. Um, that's just my personal preference. But uh, the audio quality, even without the speakers, is, is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I have never heard an analog radio like this, and I and I own several. I own the older tube sets, um, and uh, there's just something about this rig that keeps me coming back to it uh, because of the quality of the workmanship, the audio quality, the, the ability to hone in on CW, the two receivers, um, and the fact that it was it was uh, manufactured in 1989. It's just and incredible. This is an FT-1000D. It has the uh, diversity board in it where you can connect up a separate receiver. 
uh, excuse me, a, a separate a receive antenna to it and have uh, two antennas going that way. Um, but uh, this is, I'll tell you, if you get a hold of an FT-1000D, do not let it go. Um, I know that some of these guys uh, have them out there that they do have failures at times, just like any rig, but uh, don't forget it's over 30 years old, so we're, we're to expect that, but um, this is in pretty mid condition. I got this from a local ham here in Florida, and it just is for the money. You just can't beat it, and not only just for the money, but I, I have yet to find radio that is its equal on the receive department and the audio quality um, and I've had a lot of them and, and it, it's just the people the guys on on EHAM that rave about it they're right it is uh, a fantastic transceiver if you can get a hold of one of these in good condition and then everything works and you don't have to put too much time or money and it's not even that expensive to work on get parts for um, but you would be a happy camper that's for sure now I, I promise a little twist at the end of this video and uh, uh, I'm going to provide it now this I'm going to show you my main rig that's my main rig and this 1000 that I just showed you in my opinion, and I've been a ham for uh, 44 years now, in my opinion, that 1000D knocks this out of the, it knocks it out of the park compared to this one on the audio end, on the, on the receive end. In my opinion, sound quality, sensitivity, uh, just the experience. Of course, this one, this is an FT, of course, DX101D. This one knocks it out of the park on features. I mean, you cannot beat an FT DX101D on, on features and it, what it can do. It's, I'm not gonna get into this here, but wow. Um, I'm, I wouldn't say that I would just sell this radio for the, and, and keep the 1000 and that's it. But if I had to, if my back was against the wall and I needed the money, I'd sell this in a heartbeat and keep that. Um, well, this is worth over 3000 but you get the point. Um, this 1000D is, is just amazing. And another great thing about the 1000D is that um, uh, it, it has 200 watts output. So this is going to be my go-to rig for single sideband. From now on, I'm getting a, a Heil headset mic, and I'm going to be modifying a D104, putting in a new element to use it, because I just think it's just a fantastic experience. Um, it just makes everything just so quality. Um, I've never had a Collins, but I would I would rank it up there with audio quality on a Collins, if not better. I've never heard audio quality and uh, signals this clear ever. And they just jump out at you. The, the CW signals, they just pop out. And don't forget, this is an analog rig. It only has some digital control components, but all the state is everything is analog as opposed to that where everything is digital. Uh, of course, uh, we've got the nice, the nice display um, and everything that goes along with the 101D. And it's a, the, the 101D, I'm not knocking it, it's an amazing radio. But if you don't need the uh, pan adapter, if you don't care about it, just go out, spend a thousand bucks, just get this. And uh, I think you'll be, you'll be very happy. So I've gone on long enough, I just wanted to um, do a little uh, video and that twist at the end was to show you that I'm coming from the standpoint of having that 101D that I just showed you for several months now and I do love it and I wouldn't give it up.
for the world. But this one here on, on quality, workmanship, audio quality, um, it just, it just can't be beat. It's just um, outstanding. Love this radio, and I really don't want to ever give it up. It's, it's that good. So that's it for now, W1AL. See you in the next video. Thanks, guys.